Happy Thursday, change agents. So I had to do this video right here. I just got off a call. It kind of hurt my feelings that I couldn't help the guy, you know, because that's the kind of guy I am. I love to help people. And when I can't figure it out, it, it, it hurts. And that's why I go so hard. That's how I became a change agent, because I've always fought for the underdogs. But I'm doing this video today to talk a little bit about the referral process. And just a little, this is just a little bit of a, a vent. I don't want it to be a rant. I do want to vent just a little bit. So the reason why I've been telling people to send email referrals from now on instead of just giving out phone numbers is because it's time for us to start tracking how much work we doing. You feel me? Um, in the in the area in a county where there's tons of nonprofits and a lot of money going to the buddy systems, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, you know they they play favorites and stuff in the area. It is what it is. Well, many of you already know that. Um, but in an area where organizations is getting all this money and and stuff, but then they giving out other people's numbers to call them to get the work done, you know. And it's time for us to start tracking that. And that's why I'm telling these people like. Quit giving out phone numbers and, and, and don't, especially don't give out the personal number. You know, give it, you know, don't, I mean, just do the referral via email. It's time for us to start tracking who's doing what. You feel me? Let's, if we want to talk about equity and equity is, it, it matters. It's time for us to start tracking. Cause I be getting phone calls. This is why I'm so grateful to be transitioning into the uh into the space. We're working with the 18 to 24 year olds, getting them connected in the workforce space because I've been getting pulled on. Ever since I was working at AB Tech, I get pulled on by the community because there be young people that look just like me needing some additional support in the community college space. You feel me? In the workforce development space. And I would get pulled on and I would go over and beyond trying to help folks. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to help people. That's how God wired me. And I'm going to say I'm, I'm grateful to go into that space because that's what needs me most. Like I've done a lot of work in the substance use disorder space, in the addiction space, helped a lot of people, raised a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? To get people in positions. And when I was in that space, what I noticed was I wasn't serving that many people that looked like me. And the reason being because it's a stigma in the in the community of color. It is what it is. Many of y'all know that celebrities are starting to raise more awareness about the stigma and ending the stigma. You know, shout out to Taraji P. Henson and people like G Herbo, the rapper and Charlemagne, the God, the, you know, uh, the radio uh, show hosts. Um, but people are starting to raise awareness about it, trying to end that stigma. And so. You know, I, in the substance use disorder programs, the addiction programs, a lot of times I'd be the only black person in the room and, and we weren't serving enough people that looked like me and stuff like that. And yet I would be getting pulled on by the community to help because they needed support too. And so I'm glad that I'm transitioning into a space to where I can fully focus on the workforce equity, right? And as I transitioned out of the substance use disorder space, I'm noticing how much, you know, uh, uh, the work that Inspire has been doing. And I'm also noticing how much of the work that the community health workers with Voices of Afrolatch is doing. And and I got to raise awareness about it. You know what I'm saying? Because like people call us like they got my number from so-and-so. No, 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 no. Send an email referral. It's time for us to start tracking that, baby. It's time. These funders need to know who's doing the work. It's time. And I ain't trying to get all the funding to me because I'm, I'm in the space where I need to be going. Workforce equity. That's where I need to be at. But that don't mean I'm just going to leave out of the substance use disorder space like, huh, good luck to you. So long. Oh, no. Change agents don't work like that. I'm still going to be a voice. I'm still going to be a voice. And I know who's doing the work. I know who picking these people up when they put them on the medication and the people need a ride to go get the medication. I know who it is that's paying for the housing and who's advocating for more housing that will accept people who are on the medication. I know who doing the work. I know who the people are that's picking people up from the penitentiary and getting them reconnected into society, taking them to go get their groceries or their food box, taking them to go do their food stamp application, taking them to a 12 step recovery meeting, normalizing recovery, normalizing healing. I know who doing the work. I know who boots on the ground and I will not let the words boots on the ground get watered down and start trending the way that these other things that have started trending and watered down. I will not allow boots on the ground to be that way. You see, we ain't just sitting up in the office mm -hmm. and in the workforce directory, the, uh, the, uh, in the workforce equ equity space. I'm, you know, I'm pulling up right now. I'm about to have lunch with one of, with one of my workforce clients out in the streets. You feel me? We get outside of the office. Mm hmm. This is a model that can be replicated and I'm grateful 
that the people on a national level have amplified my voice for me to be able to get support to do the work. And I'm going to continue to share best practices and, and make connections because that's what we are called to do as change agents. I'm over the buddy system. I'm, I'm over it. Like, I'm not being quiet. And that call I just got from a guy, you know, him calling me and asking me if I have a bed available. Like, bro, I don't have a halfway house, sir. What type of services do you need? Man, I just need to find a house to get in, man. I'm about to get out of the hospital and I need to find a house. I'm like, who are you working with, my brother? And he start naming off these different organizations. I'm thinking to myself, like, and you got to me? How you getting to me? You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking to myself, like, how bro get to me? Why they? You know what I'm saying? The reason why I got the connections I have now, the reason why I was able to find funds and find ways to get people connected is because when I ran into roadblocks, I didn't just give them somebody else's number. I went and tried to figure it out with them. I heard in a webinar, somebody said uh, 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 community health workers are experts at figuring it out. That's dope, ain't it? You like the sound of that? Experts at figuring it out. That's what we do. You feel me? That's what we do. Boots on the ground, health equity. And I'm here for the ride, man. But I'm telling you, if you got a referral for us, and we about to be in Unite Us too, it's time. NC Care 360, you know, I have Operation Gateway will fully be in there. But the other initiatives I was working on, the reason why we weren't popping off in Unite Us is because our referral partners weren't using Unite Us. But it's time. Because it's time for us to, I'm telling you, we got to start tracking these referrals so we can see who doing the work. You know what I'm saying? And, and and we need to start making sure the funding gets to those who are doing the work. Mm -hmm. That's what equity looks like. That's what equity looks like. And fighting for equity is simply fighting for the underdog. My name is Change Agent Cooper. I'm not the answer, but I'm for damn sure the alternative.